How are you? Hello. Hi. Hello. Clark Gable. Amazing. I didn't know Clark Gable was with the band here. Fantástico. Parece com Clark Gable, não parece? Hein? Parece. Os fãs estão tudo bobo lá. É. Eu vou começar com um guitarrista que já foi líder do Dire Straits, uh, guitarrista e compositor, Mark Knopfler, please! <fazos> How did you like the band, the it's boys a, in the band? It's a very cool band you got there. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, good band. Well done, man. Ah. I think I've forgotten how I did that. He just elogiou o o sexteto que tocou um tema em sua homenagem. Que eu acho que eu já esqueci até como é que tocava isso. Ah, você, Omar, a gente pode fazer a entrevista em português, não tem problema, né? Just ask me everything in Portuguese, it'll be fine. Ah, entendeu tudo. Não, 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 não. Não. Vai ser um desastre. Ok, não, não, não problema, não problema. Vamos apenas falar em inglês e vamos ter os subtítulos depois. Right behind us. Uh, here. Ok, estou em suas mãos. Sim, ok. Você está em minhas mãos. Estou em suas mãos. Que bonito sentimento. Bem, é uma guitarra guitar. <laughs> yeah. uh, Mark, is it your fa- você é de Glasgow? Originally, eu was born em Glasgow, yeah. And then when I was about eight, I moved to northeast England, Newcastle on Tyne. Uh-huh. Newcastle upon Tyne. Uh-huh. You know that my family from my father's side, from my, my, my father's side, <clears throat> very long ago, came from, from Scotland to the north of Brazil. Oh, lovely. During the time that Mary Stuart was uh, fighting with Elizabeth, that's what, uh, 1600, uh, something like that. Yeah, the Scots, the Scots get everywhere. Yeah. You do. They travel. They travel a lot. Travel a lot. And uh, is it your first time in Brazil? Yes. Yes. It's beautiful. Well, wh- wh- and uh, when did you get here? Oh, just a few days ago. And the band day. also. You have Clark Gable on the violin. He's played before. He's played before. And he's in his uh, his first time in Brazil too. It's. I think it is. Yes, it's his first time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're all having a lovely time. They've all bought lots of uh, percussion instruments. And uh, they've been in the music shops already. Spending, already. Spending, spending lots, lots of money. Even before getting the money, they're just spending it. I know. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's, that's it. the yeah. best way to do it. <laughs> and you have, that's a guitar, that's a, an acoustic guitar you have behind. Brendan, oh. yeah. From Brendan. It's Guinness. yours. Okay. Hold, to, hold on to it. Yeah, he's and fond of his 12 string, yeah. Mm-hmm. And here, this guy, the, this boy knows, uh, his mother knows that he's traveling with you. The, yeah, the, yeah, these guys are brothers. Oh, your brothers. They're Fletcher brothers. As, as Guy Fletcher from Dire Straits. Uh-huh. And this is brother Danny. And in the dra- on the drums? That's Danny. Danny was the percussionist uh, in Dire Straits. So Danny was... Danny is very, very happy to be in Brazil in the land of fantastic percussion. Yeah, but his face is a little sad. I don't know if he's tired he's or something. Like that. <coughs> Look! Is he always like that? No. <laughs> he's a very happy guy, really. He's a very happy guy. Let me let me see the album here. Sailing to Philadelphia. Thank you very much for your autograph. Uh, tô com um CD autografado dele aqui, ó. <laughs> Telling to your to, to your fan club that I have the. Yeah, vocês também? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've signed them all. That's, that's why I've got the pen here. I've just been in there, just writing away. Yeah, you, 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 you're left-handed. I'm left-handed. Yeah. And But, also with the guitar. No, no, because my big sister, I was playing with, I began on tennis, tennis racket, uh-huh. and I was playing my tennis racket when I was a little guy, like, with the music, <laughs> and my, my, you know, our big sisters are like, we should, no, 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 it has to be the other way wow. around. So I played a tennis racket this way. <laughs> you started with a tennis racket, mm. so now you can play 
uh, but you, uh, if you turn if uh, if you turn the guitar around, no sound comes out of it. If I if I try Look. left-handed, I'd, I'd be terrible. Yeah. terrible. Well, but yeah, I can play. I can. Um, what do I do? I use a knife and fork the proper way around. Yeah, me too. And I play. Thing. If I play cricket or golf, I play right-handed. Whoop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right-handed. Yeah. But most things left. Yeah, I do. I have a fork and, and a knife also. Uh, are you left hand? I am both handed. Uh, well. Some things I do with my left hand, some things mm. with my right hand. I think that to eat, because I'm a fat guy, so I think it's faster to eat without <laughs> changing all the time that thing. Uh, the, uh, the album Sailing to Philadelphia. Uh, what do you sing about here? What's the main difference between what you're doing now and what you used to do with their states. I'm older. <laughs> and um, I think uh, I've had fun with this album. There's about nine, there's about 13 songs on there, but about nine of them, I've got different vocalists. I've got different, um, you know, I've, I've either sharing the vocals with a couple of people or got backing vocals from different combinations of things of different people just to give the songs more uh, I don't know more I've got more vocabulary now I feel uh, musically and I it's I like traveling alone you know I like go to the airport get on a plane go to wherever yeah. I go New Orleans or, or, or wherever I go I just feel as though I can move quickly get you know if I want now I feel as if I want if I want to come to Sao Paulo and get some you, you know percussion on something I just come it's it could be easy. It's much easier. And also, uh, speaking about your music, you think you have a... Uh, I like that expression, uh, you have a better vocabulary. Yeah, I think... A just, richer... I'm a very, very slow learner, but I slowly, slowly get... I think I get a little better. I mean, all I, all I want to do, if I have any ambition at all, is just to make one or two records that I can listen to. That's all. You know, nothing different. Because I don't sit around at home playing my own records, you know. You don't. Uh, Frank Sinatra used to do that. No. Yeah, he loved it in his car, everything. But Frank Sinatra, you can you can understand that. That's not me. <laughs> I would be. You hate when you see you on TV, for instance. Yeah, and, and talking, or, or uh, in a restaurant. You know, when if I have to, if I have to go in a restaurant and there's a mirror, uh. I. I, I, I don't like, I'll have to sit around, i have to sit around the other way. And the first time I saw myself talking on television, I was, oh, who, who is that guy? Yeah. It means the same thing. When I see myself on television, I say, that's not me. That's not me. The, I'm even fat there. And <laughs> it couldn't be me. It really couldn't. And also in the, in, in the restaurant, it's terrible because not only you have to look at yourself in the mirror, but you see yourself eating. Eating? No, no, please. No. <laughs> please, no. no. <laughs> no. uh, you are graduated in literature. Uh, by some fluke, yeah, and it, it, <laughs> it, it happened. Um, but did, did, did you work? Uh, did you work as a journalist sometimes? I was a baby reporter, you know, like a junior, and uh, I did it in a town called Leeds, where Brendan is from, uh, for two years. Uh, but I think uh, I think it all helped in songwriting in a way. But sure. but I think it's got to be in your blood. You know, you've got to really want to do it to do that job. Uh, just like you've got to really want my job, you know, I mean, you've got to really love it to do it. You've got to really want to play the, you know, an instrument. You've got to yeah. really want to do it. You've got to really work hard at it. And I don't think I was a very good journalist. In fact, yeah, I know I, so. I wasn't a very good journalist. Well, you uh, used to do uh, reviews or critics of, uh, in the theater? Well, there was a theater in Leeds called the City Variety. Said they sent the junior kids there to do, like, you do one paragraph review, uh -huh. you know. But it, uh, it was good for me because I was 19 years old and there was one good thing about those shows is that there was a stripper on. Wow, that's great. And so I was happy to go. Sure, great reviews also. <laughs> no, about the reviews, the were, the reviews yeah. were very small and, and the strippers were always very old, but it was good. Well, fun. anyway, but I think that uh, in this case the only thing that was small was the review. Yeah, the review was always... The rest was... Oh, huge. Well, you know, I mean, I was a long way from the stage. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me something. Uh, so how, uh, when did you start, when did you feel, or when did you know that you wanted to be a musician, a singer, a uh, composer? When, when did that strike you? Well, uh, what happens is your idea of yourself changes. I mean, you begin thinking, 
Oh yeah, can strum a few chords, you know. I think maybe I'm. You begin playing the tennis racket. Yeah, maybe I'm a guitarist. <laughs> <laughs> and then you write a couple of songs, and you think, well, maybe I'm turned into a songwriter, you know. So you write, then you, you, I know your idea of yourself changes as time sure. goes by. And now I see myself as like, a, I don't know what the expression in Portuguese would be, but it's jack of, jack All of. All trades. Yeah, but I say jack of a few trades, master of none. That's what I say. <laughs> That's difficult to translate, but that's not my problem. We'll do it. <laughs> we'll just do it. Uh, you were the most voted international artist to play in Rock, Rio, uh, rock in Rio. Did you know that? I didn't know until I, well, I, 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 I until I, until I got here just a, a little while ago, and, uh -huh. and uh, I was amazed. I mean, I, and also I didn't know that there was more than one stage. You know, I, I thought Rock and Rio would be like one stage and there's uh, a field just full of people. Yeah. But then, like, uh, it was organized miles. by TB, uh, P. T. Barnum. Yeah. A but, lot of rings. But there was, there was uh, you know, but there's a few stages and uh, uh -huh. so I didn't realize that. But um, but maybe next time. I mean, I'm, what I'm going to do is play here in uh, April and uh, play maybe three nights in the in a hall in, in here. And and I mean, maybe it'd be a better experience for people to be inside rather than in a field, you know. Yeah, sure. And this time, this time you just came for the for for the album, for the new album. To to do yeah, just to sort of let people know that it's there, so that we can have a good time when we come. Sure. Because it's good to tour with an album that's up. You know, it's always more fun. You know, I've I've tried touring with an album that wasn't doing so good. That was back in America once during the uh, fuel crisis. And it was like pushing a car up a hill. So <laughs> it was so. But uh, they tell me that you you'd rather play in a small pub than play in a big, uh, um, in open air, for instance, or in big uh, festivals. Um, not a small. Well, small pub. Yeah, I like small pubs, but I like uh, I like places this size. I like places ten times this yes. size. Uh -huh. Even five thousand, six thousand is great. You know, ten thousand is great. But once you get into a field. Uh, it's a different thing, you yeah. know. It's uh, it's more like an event rather than That's a right. concert. Is that right? You don't. I, th I think you're absolutely right because you don't know who's listening and who's not. Who's there just for the the kick of it? Yeah, and at those festivals, I remember when I went when I was a kid. Half the time I was exhausted, you know. Yeah. I'd be sitting out in this field for two days or something, you know. <laughs> uh, so by the time the whole thing was, you know, by the time some acts got on at night, if you like that. <laughs> Zombie. Ladies and gentlemen, the doors. <laughs> you know. <laughs> They're closed. The doors yeah. are closed. The doors are closed. Yeah, they were. Well, it was just too late at night, you know. Okay, let's listening. Uh, let's listen now to Mark Knopfler. Uh, before this, when are you coming back? Uh, around April, I think? Yeah, around April. Okay. But I'm going to have to sing into that one. Okay, and uh, this time, uh, in this trip, you're going to sing somewhere? In this I'm going to sing now? No, now, yeah. Uh. But uh, no, 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 I hope so, I, I sincerely hope, hope so. Uh, I hope Why are you so. laughing? Why are you laughing there? So. Ah! Well, he, do, he, he doesn't call it singing. He doesn't call it singing? <laughs> Probably not. I do, I do. Let's see, let's, uh, let, let's hear Mark Knopfler, please. Yeah. Thank you. Come on. Okay, here's from the here's from the album. Curse the government and 
shovel off from down. Lights are out in City Hall, the castle and the key. Moon shines down upon it all, the land is sound asleep. Hold on to a leaf, where the wagons creep through. Hold on to a tool, baby, God knows what I can do. That's what it is. Take a walking stick from our tail And a ghost of dirty dick is still in search A little now, that's what it is